<sighs> Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And it's August. The first of August, in fact. And I am going to share a bit about myself here. Basically, yes, I went to school, and that's what this is going to be about, mostly. This is going to be about education. Going to school, studying, all that nonsense. However, this is for that. I support getting education, I support studying, but I'm also about and in support of having a healthy, realistic attitude about things. Thanks. And I feel a lot of times we're not exactly realistic about high school or going to school in the first place. You know, you get in that car and your mom talks about how wonderful it is. Mostly, nowadays, it's to get rid of you. So, and for me, it was just that, oh, the thrill of, my mom was just thinking, oh, I just love school, and that's, that's the thing. She will say that. She does say that and has said that. Don't know if it's in support of education or not. I personally have to say that's a side note. It's not important in here. However, I do not like the educational system. I pretty much feel like if I can educate myself and I can take care of those issues on my own without, you know, the need of other people being involved, namely my classmates and my teachers, I would have been okay with that. Not saying I don't like being in a group of other people or other kids. It's just I don't really like the idea that we have to be there because we have to be there. That's another thing. I really have come to hate about school. It's a legal obligation, not a want-to obligation. It is not about you're going there to be educated and enriched and stuff. It has nothing to do with that. It's not that high, high, oh my god premise, it's amazing, you will love it so much. Because in the back of your head, you're like, who gives a fuck? Part of my language, but really, who cares? Who cares? Here's the other thing I did not like about school is usually it's just the first day. The first day, and I understand that. Heck, fuck is. I do not like the first day. Heck, I don't even like the first week. <laughs> it, all I know is my maternal figure comes into my room, wakes me up, and tells me. It's time for school! It's the first day of school! And I'm thinking, Oh, really? The house isn't on fire? No. Then, good night! I just want to go back to sleep. I don't care about being there. And this is also coming from a person... This is not just from someone who goes to a public school. Mind you, I went to a private school. I'm not going to lie, I went to a private school... And yes, the education is good. It is far better than public, but would I ever suggest someone going there? Only if you want to be pretty much stripped of every right that you ever had in life in your life. Okay? Is it every single right? No. You probably have your rights like you can't they cannot have whip you. They're they're the one I went to Yes, it was a private school, and yes, it was also a Catholic private school, like I've mentioned before. There were no nuns. Thank God there were no nuns. That's the thing. There were no nuns, because, um, back in the day, there would not have just been, a uh, detention. There would have been full-on, oh my God, left and right. Whipping and spankings. 
and Mr. I believe it's Mick Spanky. I've heard names like that, but thank God, and you would have been spanked from your belt if you were a boy. Thank God that was not my case. I probably, I almost went to a school like that, though, when I was much younger. I almost. It was very close. And I didn't, but still. Education to me at that age is very, very important to start that. However, I get tired of the whole, oh, it's great to go back to school nonsense, and I totally agree with that. That was my biggest thing, and that's pretty much with anything that comes around my, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can see into the camera, and I see what you guys are seeing, so. It's like, but our society tends to be kind of unrealistic towards the whole idea of what it's like to go to school. Mostly because I think it's to get it off of the parents' back and make them feel better that they're making life better for their children by getting them an education. Which, that's not wrong. But we need to look at the real problems facing educational system altogether. We need to... I'm all for getting rid of bullying. But let's put it this way, I've gotten in trouble for stupid stuff like simply just coming up and tapping a person on the shoulder and giving me a rest. You know, tapping someone on the shoulder and at my height and when I was going to school, I was about the shortest kid in my school. So, yeah, here I am trying to tap someone on the shoulder. And of course, that gets taken as an offense and I got detention, but so did the victim. That's also another thing. Stop punishing the victims. The bullying and the behavior is not their fault. However, I think it was okay for him and I to get bullied because it was, we were little kids and it wasn't so much the, well, if he can't have, if, if I'm getting punished, he needs to get punished too attitude. It was more of like, he was doing stuff that he shouldn't have been doing either, like, I guess he had drawn something on the board, and he came up right after, and it was something sweet and nice for the teacher. It wasn't like me writing somewhere I wasn't supposed to write, okay? Just to clarify. But I drew, like, a cat or something. I used to be into cats all the time as a child. Um, but I drew that on the board. And, of course... This other kid, I'm not going to say any names, went up and erased it. Because we really weren't supposed to be drawn on a board, but I was just trying to do something nice for the teacher. I broke a rule, but it wasn't a rule that deserved detention, okay? And, you know, he made me mad, but I wasn't going to do any, you know, physical, going to hurt him or anything, you know. There's... I hate saying this, unless I was going to get physical with him, which didn't happen. It should have been, in, yeah, anyways, I'm going to, I'm not, let's just put it that way. Do not punish the, you know, like I said, one, you don't punish the victim, you don't punish the person, and, yeah, just, I'm at it. Also, you need to know the extent of the bullying. You know, I'm all for getting rid of bullies in school. I use there. There you go. There's another thing. I don't want to be the teacher's pet in any way, shape, or form. I never was. You never want to play the teacher's pet. I pretty much play the dumb kid. And up to a certain point, my parents did not appreciate me doing that in class, but. I kind of was of the thinking, if I can do it myself, why am I going to ask anyone else to do it for me? Okay, I pretty much don't get the concept of going to the actual school, if you get what I mean. I don't get that part, because I'm not there for, it really, I'm not there for social interaction, which I can probably do, if you just had, let's put it this way, if you had school dances that counts as social interaction. It's not long, but it's short enough, and it's enough for me and everyone else involved. You know, and... Oh, oh, there's that, too. I don't mind them involving the parents in certain situations. 
and most situations, like when it comes to study, I mean, in my school, we had our teachers, they gave us flyers and all that stuff, and they read it and all that. He just, that, that was their homework in a way, and I love that because it's like, you know what? They're going to torture me at school with this homework, and you're going to make me go, oh, joy, school's great. Then here you go. How wonderful is that now? Now, was it real torture at the time? No, but I sort of enjoyed thinking it was, so don't ruin it. Um, uh, did I always look forward to the first day of school? No. Was I prepared? Yeah, pretty much. The only thing I wasn't prepared for was the next freaking morning. He and my parents take counting down the days. That's also another thing. It ruins the whole concept because if I was excited about school, two things will, will occur. It's like, yes, that's what I need to do. Yes, yes. And I don't really state that I'm excited. I rarely ever do because I don't know. If you're excited about something, you're just excited about it. I don't feel like you have to be like, yay, woo, woo you know. You have to do a verbal or vocal way of saying it. It does not need to be. But I feel like if you want to do that, go for it. Also, I never liked the fact that they were always happy and smiling. Like, thank you for greeting me here. But you do realize my vacation is over. Now, I know my teachers are happy because, well, they get a nice, decent paycheck and a job that they don't hate as much, but, and my parents get rid of me and not get me out of the house, but after that, there really is nothing there for me, hey, technically. I mean, I guess I'm happy to see my friends again, but, you know, that's what sleepovers are for, and seeing them every day out of the week kind of ruins it as well, but that's okay. I don't mind going to school. I think education is very important. It's key. I swear in this country we tend to think education has to be earned. If you're against it, you're a bigot or you're an idiot. No. You could just be, I don't like going there. And I don't like anyone forcing me to think it's a good place. Or pretend that getting an education is the best thing you could ever do with your life. I do, but I don't support people being rednecks or, you know, being uneducated and trying to enter the world. And that's another thing. We don't really, we, we expect people to be, to be more and more capable of doing other things as time has gone on. And that's fair. That's, that, that's pretty much it. But in some cases, I understand someone not having a diploma and not finishing high school and college and stuff. Because sometimes there was just there was a time where I guess being an idiot was okay and no one looked down upon it. <sighs> but that was because well there was no other life but that idiot life. I mean I looked at shows such as oh shows from the nineteen seventies and then I looked at the stuff in the nineteen eighties. And a lot of times I prefer the stuff from the nineteen eighties to the seventies. Not that the seventies were bad, but I don't think of it as like the best decade in the world. Like why would I want to go back to when women were still not treated fairly? You know, no matter how nice the men were to the women, they could not be on the same level as a man. Probably back then. However, we also want to go back to a time where little girls are just cute. And I also think it's kind of an out for the mom. But yeah, let, let's put my daughter in a cute... That there, there's another reason why I didn't like my school either. Hate is wearing the stupid uniforms. Yes, I hated wearing uniforms. They just were no fun. Okay? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what age. Doesn't matter what generation you are. Doesn't matter what school you go to. Now, some people might disagree with me. Those go to public school and you're free to disagree with me. You guys got to go through a lot worse than I have to, really. This is just really merely a rant on my behalf, considering it's getting closer and closer 
and I do plan on doing videos in the future that are meant to help people get through school because I want people to go to school. I want them to get smarter. I want that, you know, it's kind of an iffy thing. Like, I want my children to have a better future. But maybe a substantially, substantially better one than I did. I want them to move on with their life. I don't want them to stay with me and live with me forever. Huh. Just like, hey, I don't want old people to feel like being old is a bad thing. Albeit, it's just kind of like, it's living, I, but I get tired of the whole, well, old people are better standpoint that ABC tries to throw in our face. Because you know something? It's just like, you know, it's just like, I don't mind these interest groups trying to better themselves and move themselves forward. I don't mind a man going out and getting a life and, you know, not having kids if he doesn't want to. But, I get kind of tired of the children being blamed for all the problems in the world. They're not the problem, you are. I get that same attitude because I guess since I don't have kids, I can't hate children. No. No offense. It's not saying I should ever hate you. I don't hate kids. I don't hate children. Personally. No. I do not like the acts of some kids. I don't think they should be running around screaming like idiots. It's all the time. But then again, I blame the parents because I feel like, hmm, shouldn't you be in control of these children? Shouldn't you? You know, I, I hate parents who brag to you. It's one of my biggest pictures. Don't brag, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, another thing is I hate about teachers and print. yeah, I hate about teachers and or principals, is I love the ones that come in and spill their guts to their students. They're good people, but... Never, ever, ever, ever say to your classmates that if you're going to, that if they act out or misbehave, you're going to be like, if you act out or misbehave in school, I'm like, um, I hate to break it to you, but first you don't have the punishment, then you go home and cry. You don't tell us that you cry at home. This is my class. Oh, they were crazy as F U C K. Let's just put it that way. They were crazy. Okay. So most of the time, either I was with my classmates. Oh, another thing I didn't like about my teachers. You also get those, you know, waving their fingers. I'm gonna, nah, 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 you know, I'm gonna punish you. You kind of teachers. I don't care for that. I've never cared for that. With my teachers. Huh. I don't care for the ones who brandish, brandish, brandish and say, In this school, in this place, I am God. Because my teacher's like, <laughs> If we're going to a public school, honey, there is no God. Do you not understand that? There is no authority. You have no one over you who's... No, that's not how this place works. We have no God. Okay? Okay. Anyways, that's all I gotta say, and this is Evelyn O'Malley. Hey, Lady of the Crown, signing out and telling you to follow her on Tumblr, Twitter, and check out her new fan.